Okay, so this is the bike for sale on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So this is a, a 2015 Origin 8 uh, fat bike is what it started off as. And I added a TSDZ2 torque sensing 750 watt motor. So that's the motor down there and that's the battery and it's controlled through this so this is torque sensing no throttle so when you fire up the uh, turn on the motor when you pedal it depending on how hard you pedal it gives you more power and you can adjust the power level so once you turn this on here we turn it on might be too dark in here. Yeah, so. You just, there's five levels of power and a battery indicator. So once you have it on, when you uh, start to pedal, it just helps you. So um, it's 750 watts, uh, which is actually one horsepower. And um, it doesn't sound like much, right? But... You know, so I have a hard time putting out more than 150 to 200 watts for on a continuous basis, right? So it's really like having four or five people helping you pedal, and they're pedaling really hard, and their combined weight is like nine pounds. So uh, that's the um, the electric conversion. Um, you know, you, you might Google and you can find some other electric fat bikes like Rad Rover and stuff. Um, so if you don't know anything about bikes, there's various uh, qualities of bikes, right? And uh, so all those are based on like Walmart quality um, bicycles. And this is more, is based on a more like Cannondale Trek. Um, so the uh, XLT Origin 8 uh, bike, if you look at uh, Kelly Blue Book, uh, there's a Bicycle Blue Book, and in, uh, in good condition with all the original components, it's like 600 bucks. Um, so other than the electric stuff, uh, this has been upgraded. The biggest upgrade is this fork, and this is a RockShox Bluto which replaced the rigid fork. Um, so Google RockShox Bluto, that fork cost, cost me $600. And then I had to put a 150 millimeter spacing um, wheel on there. So that's why there's a different wheel. Um, this bike originally came with disc brakes right here. Let me see. But they were cable operated. So what we have here are some nice Shimano hydraulic brakes that work sweetly. I put on 203 millimeter, that's diameter rotors, front and back. So usually those are reserved for downhill bikes, but this thing will get some speed up to those brakes work awesome. Also there is a KS dropper seat post so that's when you get like into the bumps and stuff you can put your seat down um, the the whole conversion only has a, a few miles on it I really haven't done much it's got a brand new uh, Shimano 10-speed uh, drivetrain uh, an XT brand new XT derailleur and shifter and again this is the TSDZ2 motor. So it's a conversion that fits in place of the standard bottom bracket. And then it has a race face narrow wide chain ring. And the battery I selected is a uh, made by Luna Cycles and they call it the Mighty Mini. So this one is 52 volt and uh, it's six amp hours. So this bike, I, I never really, uh, you can get over 30 miles an hour on it. And uh, how long 
the range you get. You know, you can get, if you have it in like high power, the highest level, you know, you probably only go like 15 miles, but you can probably go twice as far if you drop the power level down. And uh, that's about it. Got any questions? Give me a call.